All right, that is my V4B and my 810 fridge. But this is really about my opto comp that I just opened and put a battery in it. So uh, let's check it out. All right, yeah, so it's about my opto comp that I just got. Now let's turn this sucker on. Try it out. release down is actually like immediate release where release up is not it's hold sustain oh yeah and down would be oh yeah and it's down that's cool could have just left that This is with it off. This is with it on. Yes, it makes it quieter, but that's why you have an output knob. So this is actually really cool. So, so far it's letting me get much cleaner at any volume, which is pretty cool, actually. That was the problem I was really having. Alright, let's turn that off. Also lets me drive it from the pedal because I can just up the gain. Bam!
Now you guys probably couldn't hear like any of that because I'm a little too loud, but that was pretty dope. Now I got my Mickey Nugs, Booyah, with Round Wounds, and same deal. It's uh, it's really dope. It's like freaking perfect, actually. stays clean so if you got a tube amp bro get a compressor it's like if you want to drive it like all the time then that's cool that's fine but if you don't then you can't get half the volume out of it get a compressor man you can you can really mess with that thing and it really opens it up and it's perfect or it boxes it out whatever you want it's a compressor look check it out so i got three knobs i got i got output volume release and compression Compression, of course, compresses, <laughs> you know, makes you quieter and puts you in a box. And release is when the note stops compressing. And uh, if you look at the light, oh, not right there, I have to hit it kind of hard because of the way I got it set. See that? Yeah, see, it tells you when it's working. And because my, my release is so quick. It tells me it shuts off like immediately because I just wanted to catch the spike. I don't want it to stay on. Because it's that spike that drives your amp when you don't want it to. And it happens, you know, like fairly frequently, you know, unless you're like freaking amazing. <laughs> you know, to where you've got absolute total control of your fingers and those strings, 
Which, I don't. I beat the hell out of this thing. I beat the hell out of everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I've never had an issue with it. But, you know, I've never had a tube amp. So, now I got a tube amp. And I'm not used to it, but this thing's too good to not try something. So, yeah. Ampeg, Opticom, 120 bucks. It's got everything you need. It sounds great, too. second ago and the output volume is about the same ish but there's my tone back that I was missing that that two, that twang that I put in a box <laughs> smooth I just don't want harsh I want round I want round edges you know what I mean off a little bit.
thing's pretty bad. knobs and a volume uh, for when you really want to compress yourself it's got a volume so uh thing sounds great it's got a lot of options it's very useful it does exactly what the heck i want it to which is the big thing it does exactly what i want it to and a little more like i don't even like that the knobs are like off dude they're like really they're like off like I could do a lot with this thing and it's pretty cool. And the more you put the release on, the uh, more it ups your sustain too. It keeps that note squashed and going. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, Opticomp, check it out. Late.